Do you need a custom view for your Facebook ads metrics? Here's how to set it up and what I look for to manage multiple clients and spend multiple thousands of dollars per day. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and I run scaling.co where I help brand owners and operators scale past seven figures. If you want to learn more about what's working today uh, to scale up e-commerce brands and to scale your brand, go ahead and subscribe right now. All right, guys, let's get started setting up a custom column inside of the Facebook Ads Manager. I'm also going to show you the exact metrics that we're going to look at today. This column's drop down. Uh, click Custom Eyes Columns. We have delivery there as the first one. And then the next thing that we're going to look for is a strategy attribution setting. So whether we're doing seven days click or seven day view, one day click or one day click. And then we have budget. What's the budget for this ad set or this campaign? And then how much have we spent for it? Amount spent. And then we have cost per purchase. It's kind of what we are looking at for our e-commerce brands. And then next one is total purchases. And then I go ahead and uncheck these three boxes here. Next is frequency. Use frequency to keep an eye on how many times your ads are being seen by these audiences. Usually I look at retargeting to be around like five, six, seven, eight is kind of okay. And then top of funnel around one frequency. If it gets to two and you see performance declining, for example, that's probably why. So just keep that in mind. All right, next is unique outbound CTR because I want to only see clicks that take people off of the platform. So we'll add that there. And then we're going to take a look at the reach, impressions, how many people did we reach? How many times did we reach them? You know, how many times were our ads on the screen? What was our cost per thousand impressions? Okay, now we get into the cost of things. So cost per unique outbound link click. Basically, how much is it costing us to get people off of the platform and onto our site, right? Add to cart, cost per add to cart. Landing page views, total. So we'll see our landing page views there. And then we have these custom metrics. So to create custom metrics, you just go here and click this button. And the first one is we'll do landing page view rate. For this one, we want landing page views divided by unique outbound clicks. So we want a percentage. So out of the people who click, how many of them are making it to the landing page? Let's add this. Next custom metric is conversion rate. This is gonna be purchases divided by link clicks. How many clicks do we have? And we're gonna do percentage. Everyone with access to the business can see it. And then boom. So we just created them and then we can add them here. Next one, custom metric. It's gonna be about our video ads. So this one's called video hook and we're gonna do three second video plays divided by impressions. What this measures is the effectiveness of a video to hook someone. So to generate a three second video play for their impression. Video hold, this is measured with through plays divided by impressions. So this will show how effective a video ad is at keeping the viewer's attention and playing the video all the way through. Okay, the next one will be post shares. And then we have another custom metric next on the list. All right, so engagement rate with reactions. So for this one, we'll use parentheses and this will be post comments plus post reactions plus post saves plus post shares divided by impressions, percentage. And so how well is this ad doing with engagement rate based on impressions? And then you can kind of cross compare to your other ads on the engagement rates of the things that brands wanna look at, but we don't necessarily optimize for like comments, reactions, saves, post shares. We can kind of look at this number and say, hey, this kind of creative or this copy generated a good response. And if we get a lot of shares, that says a lot, you know, this is share worthy, valuable content. Let's track that. And then let's also do the cost for that. And we have the cost per this engagement rate. And it looks like we have to rebuild it because got reset. 
So I'm just gonna build it all out now and then I'll show you guys what that looks like after. So this is what it looks like at the ad level. So you have your delivery, your bid strategy, your attribution setting here, your budget, and then the amount that you spent, cost per purchase, how many purchases, frequency that people are seeing your ad inside of your audiences, your unique outbound link click-through rates for each ad broken down. I added how many clicks that each ad produces and sends off the platform. How many people did we reach? What was our impressions? See, our frequency is three. This is a retargeting campaign, so this makes sense. CPM $15, cost per thousand people reached $49. So. Uh, to reach people, <laughs> it's a little expensive. Cost per unique outbound click, $2.26, a little high. Cost per add to cart for this set, $7.45. Landing page view rate, so 72% uh, conversion rate, 7.21% for this retargeting campaign. Not a ton of engagement, cost per engagement, not that much. And then our row is overall 2.56 this stack so that's what we're looking at in terms of custom columns for facebook ads i hope this has been helpful and i'll see you in the next one all right so i hope you enjoyed that and i'm curious what metrics do you guys look at uh in your facebook ads when you're running ads let me know in the comments and uh yeah let's see if we can help each other out